think about you all the time now I can tell you never feel the same now And no one was waiting for your call, but I don't know you don't want me sometimes, so I'ma run you out Good morning. It is a new day. So let me just, uh, first of all, welcome you guys to the vlog because I realized I didn't do that yesterday. Welcome or welcome back to my corner where I inspire others to dream more, live more, and become more. Y'all, I'm trying to figure out this ponytail. She just, she got a mind of her own and it's just been like laying different ways, but we cute or whatever, you know, something different. This morning we're actually on our way to a baby appointment. I have my glucose test and then I also have, like I'll get a chance to meet my new hopefully my new and permanent team, like my birthing team, which that's a whole nother topic for another day, but I'm just hoping that this is like my last stop as far as doctors. Honestly, y'all, this test has been really stressing me out. Like, and I feel like it's really unnecessary. Personally, I just don't understand why moms have to go through this. And I know that it's not, like, I know technically you can decline it, you know, but I'm gonna just do it just to, you know, be on the safe side. But I really, I really don't wanna do it. <laughs> Ever since they told me that I would have to do something like this, I've been like under I feel like unnecessary stress and just overthinking and all that stuff because there's just so many things that can make you fail a glucose test you know and I just feel like it'll bring unnecessary stress and pressure to me and I just don't want that honestly so I wasn't able to eat anything or drink anything since last night at midnight like they said you can have very small swigs of water but that's it so I haven't eaten anything since about eight o'clock last night really before that really like 7 30 but I feel okay I think it's probably my nerves because normally I'm super hungry when I first wake up but I feel like I'm not like starving hungry just because of the fact that I'm kind of nervous and you know just ready to get this test out of the way so yeah welcome to the vlog and I will see you guys at the doctor's office It was not that bad. It was not bad at all, actually. People be hyping this drink. Alright guys, just checking in really quickly. We are at Bed Bath & Beyond now. There's still a lot of stuff that we don't have for the house that we need, so we went ahead and drove to Bed Bath & Beyond. Supposedly they going out of business, y'all, but I don't see no out of business prices, so we're at the discount. But yeah, so we're just in here shopping around. Hey guys, so I had to get kind of creative with this angle. I'm currently sitting on the floor. Don't mind our room in the background, okay? She is under construction. But I wanted to show you guys, we're gonna do a quick Bed Bath & Beyond haul because we just got a couple of things, not a whole lot. But the first one is this shower caddy. It's just like a simple white shower caddy. And I actually bought this one for our master bathroom. And I just wanna see how I like it first. And then if I like it, then I may also get one for our guest bathroom as well. But I just felt like you can never go wrong with a shower caddy. The only thing I don't like about wired shower caddies is that y'all know they start to like rust after a while but since this one is white i figured maybe it won't do that and it says that it's rust resistant but y'all know they just be adding stuff just to add it so we'll see and there's something else there's something else that came with this but i already opened it and so i don't have it attached to here anymore but there's basically like two little suction cups that go down here then there's also supposed to be this thing that you can put on your shower head and it prevents the caddy from like sliding down y'all know how sometimes the shower caddy will literally slide down the shower head we ain't trying to do that so yeah got that and I think I paid $12 for that one which was not bad so the next thing I got is this Nestwell plush cloud pillow 
And like I said, it's by the brand Nestwell. Nestwell. It says Plush Cloud Premium Down Alternative Standard Slash Queen Pillow. So they had soft support, medium support, and I guess the other one was like maybe firm or something like that. I don't know. But we need some new pillows. Bad, y'all. And these were actually not bad. I think these were maybe 25 bucks each. Or these were 30 These were $30 each, which typically, I'm not going to lie, I normally am very cheap when it comes to like stuff like that. I'd be like, okay, we can get the $8 pillow, the $10 pillow, and call it a day. But like one thing that I'm really learning is the importance of spending money on the things that you sleep on because they are so essential. And with me being pregnant, I cannot be out here playing around with my body. So we're in the process of, we're on a hunt for a new mattress. I want us to get a really nice, quality like comforter pillows like I want the whole experience because I mean you literally spend at least six to nine hours a day in your bed sometimes more than that during the day when you take a nap or when you want to read and things like that so it's like you can't really be cheap I've honestly learned the older I get the more I've learned that you cannot be cheap with stuff like that last but not least we got two of these towels it's by this brand and it's the hate it's the Haven brand and it says organic cotton Turkish bath towel so we got this like pretty kind of like blue color and then we also also got this like off-white I feel like on camera it's making it look so can y'all see it's not like white white it's like an off-white like a cream color so have y'all ever heard of bath sheets like I never even knew bath sheets were a thing like when we were shopping in there I saw that it said um like that you know they had the wash rags and all that stuff then it said bath towel and there was a certain price then it said bath sheet me and babe were kind of looking at each other like what is a bath sheet so I went and kind of you know scouted around to try to you know find one and when I opened it basically a bath sheet from what I saw is just something that's like like it's an extended version of a standard towel. So y'all let me know, do y'all use bath sheets? Like, is that a thing? Do people do that? Because I just use a regular schmegler bath towel, but I will say that sometimes I feel like bath towels are not long enough. Like when I tie them, I still feel like there's like an open space. So maybe a bath sheet will be good for stuff like that. So I'm actually gonna throw these into the wash because they came sold individually, which means that people might've been touching on them and all that stuff. So we're just gonna put them in the wash just to be safe. I'm still on a hunt for like a shower curtain for our master bathroom I have like a certain vibe that I'm going for in there and they didn't have anything that I was like looking for in particular related to that and then I have like a little DIY home project that I want to do for our mirrors because the mirrors in our house and our bathrooms didn't come with frames and they giving kind of ghetto <laughs> so I found this cute little hack on YouTube and maybe I will sort of do that with you guys one of these days when I have the energy to actually put it together but I went and bought the supplies already I just have to actually put it together so probably won't get to that today as you guys also saw we went to get something to eat at um Longhorn and honestly guys this is just full transparency I actually got sick some hours after that glucose test like I don't know if it was just because I hadn't eaten anything the night before and I found out that you literally like I didn't have to go in there dry fasted like I apparently I could have been eat I could have been drinking water I just couldn't eat anything the night before because my appointment was so early in the morning it was at like 9 30 and I'm just like I don't know what it was but my body just it was weird like after we ate I felt good we were in the store and then I just I ain't even going into detail but I got sick so I don't know if that's just my body or you know I do know that some women have talked about getting sick after taking the glucose test but they talked about getting like feeling sick almost immediately after and I felt fine immediately after like this is hours later we did go and get something to eat and I have some leftovers so I'm feeling kind of hungry again since I got sick <laughs> so I'm about to go and finish the rest of my leftovers and just relax for the rest of the day and then I guess I'll check back in with you guys to see what we get up to later Later in the evening cute view of my hair the baby hairs was given yesterday I should have like got on camera yesterday but I was having a horrible headache you can get a better idea of what it looks like now it's actually really cute I wasn't like super crazy about it yesterday but I think it's because I was just tired and like just not interested in really looking at it but I mean she did it hey. <laughs> they're giving super cute the skin is giving cute we ain't got no makeup no nothing on today we just rocking it all natural honey I was Crying for no reason, but when you came to me, I will be gonna miss, and I'm missing this, and you're turning my face. 